I do feel for a lot of you now, um, you're giving your power away in a situation, okay? I do feel your ability to control circumstances is greatly diminished, mainly because of some conflict with another person, an interpersonal relationship, and there's conflict um, preventing you from operating at your best preventing you from making the right decision or potentially this is a conflict brewing around you and you really shouldn't get involved but I see you walking into it and arming yourself ready to fight when it's really not your battle so please be very careful here okay so yeah there's definitely a situation that you're walking into without uh, without thinking clearly and it, it's basically getting yourself caught up in other people's drama and getting yourself caught up in other people's life lessons or wanting to interfere with other people's life lessons and please don't do that just don't do that just um, move forward and you know deal with the things that you have going on in your own life so Let's break down this card. Um, let's break down this spread. At the heart of this reading is the fool in the reverse position. The fool in the reverse position always indicates to me heading the wrong way. Okay, not first of all, it's um, it's not not only is it about um, doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. It's about not having you know the the hindsight or the wisdom to change the way you approach a situation and to see the situation. For what it is and how your past actions have not really played out and uh, have gotten you the result that you wanted and as a result of it you're doing you're in danger of either doing the same thing all over again or like I said for a majority of you it might be a conflict that is crossing this environment there is a conflict here there's a lack of balance there's disharmony there's conflict and you're headed into the mist the the eye of this um, the hurricane so you're heading into this conflict and this conflict is going to be very destabilizing you're hoping for a good outcome you're hoping to be the mediator with the justice card crowning this reading but this is not your battle so disengage okay don't even head in there don't even be the mediator this doesn't concern you this is a karma that is working itself out through two other people it hasn't played its course yet they're not finished so you really cannot be in here even though you want to even though you want to help you want to alleviate the situation this situation doesn't concern you because what's underneath that you're not aware of what's at the base the foundation of this reading is the three of cups which indicates a meddlesome threesome type of relationship it can be a love situation or it can just be you interfering in other people's uh, life lessons whatever karmic lessons they have to deal with another person and try to resolve with another person you're rushing in and you're trying to play mediator and this situation is doesn't involve you okay so if you are in this situation Gemini's please extract yourself you're you're heading in the wrong direction you're heading in the wrong direction move forward proceed with new things here in the past position we do have the empress in the reverse position once again you are giving your power away you're losing traction you're losing ground you're still you're feeling very destabilized as a result of it this is also a card whenever it shows up i feel like it indicates to me not practice not practicing your free will allowing um, it's like flowing with the tides or exercising your free will in a way that might be oppressive rather than helpful so if a situation is between you know a and B don't get involved because you need to let other people live out their life lessons don't get involved okay don't get involved in this situation you're showing up here as the knight of swords and this is a very brash air sign headed in the wrong direction so be very mindful about what it is that you're doing think about your motives think about what you're hoping to achieve and most importantly think about if this situation calls for your interference okay so I do feel that Gemini's you want to help other people and you are a very good negotiator you're very articulate um, it's also really good for you to be objective so you you not only are you know able to size up a situation you're the outsider in this environment so you know where both sides are coming from but once again 
If, for example, you are playing mediator between a couple, the communication problems is something that is innate to their issue that they themselves have to deal with. You can't interfere, okay? Just don't interfere. Don't get yourself sucked in. It doesn't serve its purpose in your life. And it, this is also other people's karma. So enough about that. In terms of your advice here, we have the devil. So I have to warn you, don't be, you know, don't play puppet here, or at least don't play the puppeteer. Be very cautious, cautious and conscious about what it is that you're hoping to achieve and your real motives for getting involved. In terms of what's external to you, you have a helping hand here with the emperor. Once again, communication is coming through quite, quite strongly. I just want you to head in the right direction because the outcome looks very favorable. In terms of financial windfall, you are headed for quite a bit of uh, financial gain here. So you really just want to focus on this, focus on the work situation for the next two months. And what's also coming in interestingly, what's also coming in is the king of coins, the king of pentacles. So this is a, you know, traditionally, I do feel this is a good match here. So a lot of you might be dealing with an earth sign who might be embroiled in this conflict. And you really like this person. You, you have feelings for this person. So earth signs, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel there is romantic feelings associated with this. And this person or you can be dealing with legal issues as a result. I do feel the legal issue is going to resolve itself. So don't interfere with it. Just let it play out in its natural progression. I know you want to speed things along, but it doesn't help the, the um, situation. It doesn't mitigate any of the effects. It's going to get you riled up unnecessarily. So, you know, focus on other things in your life. If you're feeling fidgety and you can't sit still, focus on your work environment. I do sense as well with the empress in the reverse position. This is a woman who is not in control of her domain. So, you know, it could be that your house is a mess. The children are just um, uh, not doing what they're supposed to do. So there is an element here of home kind of disintegrating or falling apart. So you have a lot of things. There's a lot of kinetic energy, frazzled energy happening around you. Just understand there are things that you need to take care of in a timely manner. There are things that are outside of your control. So choose to be active and to be proactive about the things that you can control and fix those things. If you are feeling like a little bit antsy and you can't sit still and you're feeling restless, fix the things that you are that are under your control, that are your responsibilities, and let everything else take care of itself, okay? In terms of... Um, What's coming in here? We do have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups indicates to me fantasies. It indicates to me um, daydreams, okay? A lot of you might be daydreaming about this King of Pentacles. That's coming through. And what's in your environment as well is the Queen of Cups, which is, um, this is a person that you want to express your feelings to. But a lot of you might be shy. <laughs> and I feel weird saying that to a Gemini. Because um, you're not the shy signs, but you know, they're shy people of every sign. But traditionally, I don't feel that Geminis are, are shy. You're social butterflies and you're very articulate. And But there's something like, I, I'm sensing getting, feeling tongue-tied. For those of you who are looking for love, I definitely feel that you are being supported here. We have the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a very, very stable relationship partner. It can be an earth sign or it can just be somebody in your midst who is like the ideal type. Okay, It's like the, the stereotypical ideal type um, kind of man. He can be financially stable. He can be extremely handsome. He's just somebody who is like who fits your 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 Mr. Right ideal type prototype. So he's like one of those cookie cutter Mr. Right. He is definitely coming in, peeping his head in sometime this uh, for the next two weeks. And you know, for those of you who are males watching this, or whoever it is that you're, um, whatever gender you are, you know, interested in. The Mr. Right card can also be a Mrs. Right. So it's, um, I do feel earth sign. I do feel somebody who is your ideal type, okay? Who's, who's just the perfect person. It's everything who's like the whole package. Smart and, you know, intelligent, wise, financially stable, single, by the way, because I do feel this person, he or she, 
has gone through some divorce legal issues. So they're single available and they're coming into your midst. So this is something that you're, you're supported here. You should be headed towards this direction. So I do feel there is shyness coming through from a lot of you. You're not able to express your emotion with this person. And you're doing things the same way over and over again. So that indicates to me either um, having a tendency or entertaining the tendency to want to escape from discussing your true feelings. But either way, you're being supported. So use the energy of this month to not give your power away. Don't fall victim to any type of external fears. Say what needs to be say, said, express your feelings, and you're going to make great traction with this new person that's coming through. I do feel it is very love focused. Okay, so this is a really, really good situation. On the financial front, for those of you who are looking for an investor, this is the ideal investor as well. So he's a Mr. Right in every regard, financially, emotionally, he's just the ideal, the prototype of something the universe is throwing your way in order to um, help you with a new phase in your life. He could also be, for a lot of you, a mentor, a very, very good mentor. So if you're looking for a financial um, backer, uh, an investor, if you're looking for guidance in a certain direction, there's definitely a mentor energy coming through to help you, okay? So this is what I'm sensing. It's pretty straightforward. So I apologize once again, Gemini, for the delays. Um, I don't know where my hair, head has been and the, the computer too has been acting up. So I am sincerely sorry. I hope you have the information that you need. If you'd like a private reading, please contact me at temperatestar at gmail.com. So I guess pretty much the message here is um, move forward and don't get yourself stuck. The stuck energy is your own doing. So you really want to be careful about where you're headed, what your motivations are, what your intentions are, okay? Um, free will versus fate and it might get you mired in a dark place if you're headed in the wrong direction so let things go from the past do things differently in the future and you're going to have a good outcome so the outcome looks very very favorable you're being protected as well all right so I'll talk to you soon take care